today we're going to be making homemade eclairs and most people go oh no that sounds too hard to do but actually eclairs are fairly easy to make at least my recipe is so i want to show you today how to make your own homemade eclairs i've been doing weddings for years and i would say eclairs are probably the number one or two item on the dessert buffet that everyone loves the most so i think this is a fun project to do for your family if they enjoy having something like a homemade eclair Okay, the first thing I have done today is I have gone ahead and preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add one cup of water into a large saucepan. And I'm going to put in a cube of butter. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. It has to be a rolling boil before we do the next step. Okay. Before we start the eclairs, I'm going to make the whipped cream that will go into the filling. Um, and I'm going to use one cup of whipping cream. So if you come over here, you'll see I have one cup of whipping cream. I'm going to whip it now. And to one cup of whipping cream, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of powdered sugar. Okay, we have a picture now of our uh, water and our butter in a rolling boil. We want to add just a little pinch of salt as well. And then we're going to add the one cup of flour while it's still going. You can see, I can turn this down just a little bit now because it's already boiling. And I'm adding the flour in here. With a wooden spoon, I'm using this to try to want to have this go into a ball. You want to make sure all the flour is incorporated well. This is basically what you're making is a puff pastry. You're making a puff pastry with this. And it will be the eggs that we add in just a few minutes that are is going to make this a very beautiful puff, puffy pastry that will have a wonderful filling and topping for the eclairs. As you can see, the pan looks all everything is pulled away from the pan, and the pan looks fairly clean. And and the mixture is smooth, kind of like into a ball. Take this. We'll turn the oven completely, the stove completely off now. We're going to take it over and we're going to put it into our KitchenAid mixer. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, look how the pan is totally clean now. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, a hand mixer will work just as well. I used to make these by hand, but I have found the mixer, mixer works much, much better, a much higher quality than just doing it by hand. At this point, I have four eggs that are room temperature. And I'm going to put my paddle attachment on. Okay, and this is very hot in here. I'm going to add one egg at a time, and I'm going to incorporate it into the flour and butter and water mixture. I'm going to keep this at about medium speed until the egg is incorporated, and I'm going to add egg number two. I made it just a little bit faster. I'm adding egg number three. Now I will add egg number four. So it has a total of four eggs. And that's incorporated pretty well. I'm gonna put this on a higher speed. We're making a very smooth, shiny, um, thick mixture at this point. Okay, this is the pastry mixture now. We're gonna get ready and we're gonna put this on our uh, jelly roll pan or our half sheet pan. It doesn't need to be greased or prepped in any way. You're going to add this directly on here. And depending on how big you want your eclairs to be, some people just want little itty bitty ones and some people like big ones like about this size. I kind of like the bigger ones because nobody can ever eat just one anyway. So depending on how many people you want to feed, you can decide how large your eclairs are going to be. But I usually try to put about a quarter cup and I put it on the sheet like this. And then I take it and I make it into an eclair type sized dough. So that's going to be our first one. You want to have it look a little bit oblong like an eclair is supposed to look. If you were doing a cream puff, you would just add a little bit. Just put it right on the pan in a glob. But right now we're trying to make it into a, an eclair shape. Okay. Um, the, the pastry is on the sheet pan and they're ready to go in the oven. I was able to make 12. You can make anywhere from 9 to 12.
12 on your pan, depending on how large you like them, but we're making 12 eclairs today. So I'm going to bake these, this is very important, I'm gonna bake these at 400 degrees uh, for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna turn the heat down and put them at 350 degrees for 10 more minutes, for a total of 30 minutes. So once again, 400 degrees for 20 minutes, 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Do not open the oven. You don't want to um, flatten them out, so you want to make sure that they rise properly. So I'm going to put, go ahead and put these in the oven, and we'll take them. We'll turn the heat down in 20 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. While the eclairs are baking in the oven, we want to make our filling that will go inside. So I just use regular instant Jello vanilla pudding, and that's what makes it so good. And it's easy. You don't have to make your own pudding. Um, I've already made the whipping cream, which will go incorporated into the pudding when it's uh, chilled. And the whipping cream is made out of regular homemade uh, whipping cream. You want to whip that up and put in a quarter cup of powdered sugar and um, a little bit of vanilla. And that's already been prepared to incorporate into our filling. So this is the simple part. You just follow the direction in the in the app. You have one, two cups of water, excuse me, not two cups of water, two cups of milk. I use whole milk because you want it to taste very creamy. Two cups of whole milk. Um, I've already measured out a cup or just about a cup. That's what this, if you get the um, six and a half ounce box, the large box of pudding, it's almost a cup. So that is close enough, but I usually tell you in the recipe, one cup of pudding. So I'm going to add that in here, then come closer and you can see that I'm going to beat this with a wire whisk. I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for 15 minutes and then I'm going to add the whipped cream to incorporate into this mixture. Okay, we're back. We've taken the eclairs out of the oven. As you can see, they've puffed up very nicely and they're a nice light golden brown. Uh, now what we're going to do, when you take them out of the oven and they start to cool a little bit, you want to take a little spatula or a little tool like this and you want to take uh, go right underneath every single eclair to make sure it may be sticking to the bottom a little bit and you need to loosen it from the bottom of the pan like I've done here. So this is how you do that, okay? When that's finished, you want to start cutting the uh, clear top so that you can put the filling in and it's going to look a lot like this. I've already cut a few, but basically you're going to take the knife from the edge and go all the way around and you're not going to cut it all the way through. You're going to leave it open like this so that you can put the filling in. Okay, you know we've already put in the refrigerator our pudding that's all nice and thickened and we've already made our whipped cream made out of um, powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla. So now we're going to combine these together. And we're just going to fold it in carefully. And this is going to be a thick filling because we did not put as much milk in as you would normally put in for a regular pudding, which might be a little less thick than this. But you want to have it thick so it stands up well in your eclair. That is what's going to make it very creamy and very delicious. You don't want to beat this. You only want to fold in like I'm doing with the spatula. So that it's incorporated nicely but very loosely. Okay now when that's done you're going to take a little tablespoon like this and you're going to generously fill each one of the eclairs. Not just a little bit but you want a nice big filling in each one. Okay. We're going to make the ganache topping that goes on the eclairs. Uh, usually I have chocolate chips on hand and that would be work well for you, but I just happen to have some dark chocolate wafer. This is a melting chocolate. It's very high quality. It will be very good to make your topping with. If you happen to have chocolate wafers, they melt very well in cream. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to turn our oven on our stove on. We're going to add one half cup of heavy whipping cream. And we want to keep this stove on low because whenever you're melting chocolate, you want it on a very low temperature so that it does not burn. I'm going to add the chocolate, dark chocolate wafers and a tablespoon of butter. 
and we'll be back in just a moment. You'll see how it looks when it's all melted and ready to put on the eclairs. And, um, it's all ready to go. So this is the finished product. Enjoy with your family.